Here's another tip about what to do when date and features are modified at MMC or LMC. What you should not do is treat it like an additional tolerance or bonus. It allows a shift at the datum feature as the size of the datum feature changes. Here are a couple of parts from our product, which is the Intermec air clutch brake. This part has a pilot diameter that aligns it to the mating part, then four screws hold it together. The mounting face is our primary datum feature. The pilot diameter is the secondary datum feature. We're able to modify the pilot diameter at MMC because as the pilot diameter is produced nearer to its smallest size, it's allowed to shift a bit in order to get the screws to assemble. If our supplier treated the datum shift like a bonus tolerance, the clearance holes could be out of position more within the pattern. As a result, we might have to shift the part one way to assemble a couple of the screws, then take those screws out so we could shift the part the other way to assemble the other screws. This tip uses a simpler assembly to illustrate the point. On this part, datum feature A is a surface, which is a mounting surface, and datum feature B is this outside diameter of the cover. And the reason it's the datum feature is it does the locating of the cover when I assemble it to this case. If the outside diameter is made closer to its lower limit of size, I would, uh, I would be able to shift it around inside the case at assembly in order to get these screws to go in the clearance holes. And for that reason I've put an M here on the datum feature. Now that doesn't mean that I get more tolerance on the position of these holes. It means that I will allow a shift on the datum feature in order to bring these holes into their positional tolerance. If you treat it like a bonus you're saying that the pattern can deviate more. In other words, the holes could get further away from one another or closer and kind of destroy the pattern. So that's not what it's saying. What it's really saying is the pattern can shift relative to the datum axis established by datum feature B as long as we maintain the pattern. Here's an animation that shows the result if you treat that M as though it were giving you a bonus. Yeah, I can shift the part around at assembly, but if you gave a bonus to the position tolerance because of the M on datum feature B, I might only get these two screws to go. Then I could take those two screws out and shift the part down to get two screws to go here, but that would just be silly. So that's not what it means when you see that M on the datum feature. You can't give these clearance holes additional position tolerance. This animation illustrates why we allow the M on the datum feature. I can shift it around as long as the pattern is maintained so that I can get all four screws into those clearance holes. And I hope this helps everyone appreciate why you cannot treat that M on the datum feature reference as a bonus. There is a shift that is allowed, but the pattern has to be maintained. So if you want to be able to assemble all of the screws in your product, be sure to deal correctly with datum shift. That's what we do here because at Techies, GD&T rules. <laughs> See you next tip.